haiwezi tingizika ati na mashida yoyote lakini wewe uko na imani thabiti ya kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu atatenda jambo the problems may be there the other time some weeks ago we talked about the living faith this living faith that Abraham had this living faith that Noah had living faith pays my brother my sister when you have that living faith in the almighty God you are the almighty God who will never leave you tell you have neighbor neighbor the Lord will repay you you will be fruitful the fruits of your living faith your living faith will never go unrewarded the living faith as we look at that time is the completely relying on god you must rely on god because it is not by your own making it is not by your own hand but it is through the hand of the almighty god that you are alive he he created you he's making you to live why should you not have complete reliance on him rely on him completely never be shaken by the troubles of this world may the problems maybe you are going through problems maybe the financial problems maybe your business is going down maybe you don't have the money for the school fees maybe your family is not in good position maybe your family is in disarray oh you are fighting the family the lord through the reliance on him the lord is going to make you bear fruits you are complete trust in him will never go in vain the lord is surely going to repay you you are going to be fruitful for what you are doing to the almighty god because you don't trust in humans you trust in the almighty god weki imani yako kwa miungu ya duniani ama ulimwengu unaweka imani yako kwa mungu mwenyezi tukoweka imani yetu kwa mungu mwenyezi imani thabiti ama um, imani ambayo aiustingiziki mungu ana kulin hata kupatia yale ambayo nataka usiwe na wasiwasi yeye ni mungu mwenye alikumba Matatizo yanaweza kuwa mengi lakini nojua ya kwamba ni Yesu ama ni Mungu ambaye ako ndani yangu ataniwezesha nifike mahali ambapo ninataka ataniwezesha niwe na yale ambayo ninataka atakuwezesha usio na wasiwasi hiyo imani yako endelea kukuwa na imani thabiti kwa Mwenyezi Mungu atakutendea when you have gotten in the book of genesis 9:1 how god told noah noah he how he, he told him this will bless him and his son and he told them noah and your sons be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth may you also fill the earth by the fruitful blessings that the almighty god will give you because of your complete trust your complete reliance on him he will never leave you maybe my brother my sister problems are on your side is the lord of today tomorrow and forever put your trust complete trust in him do not put your trust in the gods of this world do not put your trust in the powers of darkness of this world because they will never make you to be fruitful but the almighty god that you have complete trust in will make you to conquer will make you to be fruitful the fruits of the living faith of your living faith the fruits are the benefits they are benefits that the lord almighty is giving you because of complete reliance on him he is giving you some benefits he is making you to bear fruits because of who you are he will never leave you alone just rely on him 
Abraham relied on the Almighty God. He had a complete living faith, active faith. What did he get from God? He didn't have a son. But he trusted the Almighty God for a son. And later, the Lord Almighty blessed him with a son. He who was fruitful, he was given a son. Which kind of blessing is that? That, Noah is, that Abraham received because of just having complete faith in the Almighty God. Of faith, complete faith in God will make us to be blessed. Let us increase our faith in God. With that faith that you have been having problems, but you trust in the Almighty God that He is going to do something, He will sure you do it. David also was given some fruits, benefits, when he conquered against, Go, uh, against Goliath. Goliath thought that David was just a mere man, but because of the complete faith that he had in God, David was able to conquer and be fruitful. Even King Saul tried but David trusted in his God. He knew that this my God is not just an ordinary God. He's a God that answers prayers. He's a God that will make me to go to another step. Though the problems are there, but I'll go to the next step. The problems cannot make me to be down. But the mighty God, the Lord that I serve, will make me to be fruitful in the land. May you also be fruitful in the land the way David was made to be fruitful. The fruits of the living faith, number one, the one fruit, the benefits, the good things that we receive from God is we are being called righteous before God. May you be righteous with your complete faith the way you have been always been relying on God. May you be called righteous in the eyes of God. In the book of Genesis chapter 15, 16, Verse 6 says, And Abraham believed the Lord. And the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. Because of his faith, because of his living faith, he was counted as righteous because his actions were also pleasing the Almighty God. If our actions are pleasing the Almighty God and we compare our trust, complete trust in him, the Lord Almighty will call us to be righteous. He wants us to be righteous. Our ways should be the ones that pleases him and are right in his eyes. A righteous man pleases God and never sins. His actions always makes God to be happy. May you be that righteous person in Jesus' name. The way Abraham was righteous before God, may you also be righteous before him. Because you have never forsaken your God. You always trust in him. May he make you to be righteous before man and before the universe. The Lord who make us to be righteous he will make you to be righteous because of what you are doing. He is repaying you. He is repaying your righteous act. He will, is repaying you in Jesus' name. The way he counted Abraham as righteous, may you also be counted as righteous before the Almighty God because of complete reliance on him. Number two fruit when we have complete living faith in him, 
God changes our names. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, the Lord God is changing your name. The Lord is changing your name. The Lord God changes our name. When we completely relying on him, though we have problems, we have the problems of finances, though you are, don't, don't have fees for the children, but you trust in the almighty God that he will give you the money to pay for the school fees. Maybe your business is down, but the, you completely relying on him. The Lord God will surely change your name to be a man or a woman of complete faith in the almighty God. May he change his, your name. You have never gone astray to, into the forces of darkness. You have completely relied on him. When we rely on him, he changes our name. Look at how Abraham's name was changed. In the book of Genesis chapter 15 verse 5. Genesis chapter 17, verse 5. Verse five. What's more? I am changing your name. My brother, my sister, your name is being changed. It will no longer be Abraham. Instead, you will be called Abraham. For you will be the father of many nations. Abraham was changed because of completely believing in God. May the Lord God change your name. Maybe you have been laughed at. Maybe you have been mocked. But the Lord Almighty is changing your name. The Lord is changing your name. Maybe there are those who thought maybe that because you are serving God that they are mocking you. They are calling you with all sorts of names. May the Almighty change your name because of always trusting, completely relying on Him. May the Lord change your name. Your name will never be the same. In the kingdom of God, your name will be honored because of what you are doing in the kingdom of God. Your name will never be the same. The way He changed the name of Abraham because of that complete faith. May the name, Lord God change your name. You will never be the names that they used to call you. You are being changed into somebody else. Your name is, is being changed. Just continue that complete faith in him. Just continue that your faith. He will never leave you alone. He is changing your name. The Lord is changing your name in Jesus' name. Number three, fruit of our living faith. Our active faith, God, make us to be prosperous. I believe each one of us wants a prosperous life. Or do you want a life of suffering? Is there anyone in this world who wants to suffer? There's none. All of us, we want success. We want prosperity. We want to have if it's food, we cannot fail to have. That is the blessing that the Lord Almighty will give us. You will never lack. If it's food, if it's cool fish, if it's the growth of your business, the Lord Almighty will make that your business to be prosperous. The Lord Almighty is going to make that your marriage to be prosperous. That your business is going to another level. That your job, the Lord is giving you promotion because of your complete trust in Him. In the book of Genesis chapter 17 verse 6, it says, I will make you extremely fruitful. Your descendants will become many nations and kings and kings will be among them. Look at this. How God is telling Abraham, Abraham, you will be fruitful because of completely relying on me. Even to a point of wanting to sacrifice your only begotten, only, only son. The Lord is telling Abraham, Abraham, you are going to be fruitful. May you also be fruitful because of your active faith, because of your living faith in the Almighty God. May the Almighty God bless you. May he make you to be prosperous. Whatever you hold your hands on, may the Lord Almighty increase. May the blessings of the Lord never leave you in all the places that you go to because of always trusting in the Almighty God, but never trusting in the forces of darkness, in the people or gods of this world. May the Lord bless you. May the blessings of the Lord, because of your faith, be upon you in Jesus' name. The fruits of our living faith. 
how pleasant, how nice is it to be rewarded by God. Oh, it's so nice. The rewards of God are great. Look at this. Abraham being told that he will be fruitful. May we be fruitful. My brother, my sister, may you be fruitful. Oh, I pray that the Lord may make you to be fruitful. May the blessings always follow you. May the, you never lack in Jesus' name. Number four, fruit. It leads to good characters. Living faith, active faith, results into good characters. Characters are the traits. Characters define who we are. You are being defined by your character. The caliber of the type of a person you are. The characters that we are expected to have are nice. The ones that pleases men. When you look at the characters of David, the characters of Noah, they were pleasing before men. The Lord God, because of your faith, the Lord God is changing your characters. Your characters, people, will see you as a man of good characters. A man who is a role model to the society. A man who is a role model to the neighbors because of your living faith that you are showing to the Almighty God. In the book of James 2, 18 says, But someone will say, you have faith. I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds. And I will show you my faith by my deeds. Deeds, action, they are very important. You, that you have faith, it must be accomplished by deeds. Your action must speak. Actions speak louder than words. You may say that maybe you have a living faith, but you don't show it. But when you show it, the Lord Almighty blesses you because these are very important as Christians in us. The good deeds. Our living faith make our deeds to be perfect or good before men and before the Almighty God. May the Lord make our characters to be those that pleases man and him in Jesus' name. Number five, fruit. We are called the children of God. My brother, my sister, you are a child of God because of your living faith, because of your completely relying on him. You are a child of God and he will never forsake you because of that you are completely trust in him, believe in him, and he will never leave you alone. The way he never God never left his only son, Jesus Christ, to go to shame. He will never shame you the same because of that you are active faith in him. In the book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 26 says, For you are all children of God through faith in Jesus' name. My brother, my sister, because of Jesus Christ, because of your trust in Jesus Christ, you are a child of God. Maybe the problems are there, but know that you are a child of God. Those challenges are there, but you are a child of God, and you will remain a child of God. May the Lord God make us to continue being called his children. How good and pleasing is it to be called the children of the Almighty God. Like a father who never leave his children to be in shame, the Lord Almighty will never lead you into shame. You will shame those who want you to be in shame. Number six, fruit. We are heirs to the promises of God. The promises of God are perfect. And each one of us 
even me, I want those promises of God. The way Abraham was promised land. The way Abraham was promised blessings. The way Abraham was promised many grandchildren and great grandchildren. We are now the fruits of the promises that God gave to Abraham. The book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 29, 29 it says, And now that you belong uh, to Christ, you are true children of Abraham. My brother, my sister, you are a true, uh, you are a true child of Abraham and the promises uh, that the Lord God uh, promised you and promised Abraham, you will surely receive them in Jesus' name. You are his heirs. And God's promise to Abraham belong to us, even to you also. They belong to you. My brother, my sister, those promises are yours because of the, the firm foundation that Abraham relayed on us. The firm foundation of the living faith, that your living faith that you have, the almighty God is going to give you the promises. Maybe the Lord always promises you so many things. Maybe your business to grow because you have been praying. You have been praying day and night. You have been trusting in him for him to change your business to another level. The Lord almighty is surely going to give you that promise. You are going to receive that promise in Jesus' name. Number seven, gift or fruit is God feeds us. Being fed. How please good is it to be fed by God? It's so awesome to be fed by God. Through Christ, God palms spiritual life and vitality into us. We have the spiritual life. We have a life that is being controlled by the Almighty God. Because of your living faith, you trust in Him. When you read the Word of God, that, you are, that the Word of God is able to make you to be fed by His Word and make you to be grow and make you to rely on Him. Though the problems are there, but you said, Lord Almighty, you have fed me with your Word. You have told me never to worry. You you have told me always to trust in you. I will trust in you, Lord Almighty. In the book of John, chapter 15, verse 5 says, I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who abide in me, the way you are abiding in the almighty God, you have been abiding in him, though troubles are on your side, but you abide in him. You say, Lord, the problems, the burdens are many, but I put my trust in the almighty God in you. The Lord, the way you are abiding in him, he is going to do something. Abide in me and I in them bear much fruit. You are bearing fruit, my brother, my sister. Your faith cannot go unrewarded by the Almighty God. Your trust in the Lord Almighty can never be seen as a useless thing. It is a great thing in the eyes of the Almighty God. Because apart from me, you can do nothing. You have realized that you cannot do anything without the Almighty God. That's why you put this trust in Him. You put your trust in Him. Because you know, through Him, you will get funds for the school fees. The children are going to back to school. But you don't know where you will get money. But when you trust the Almighty God, that is the giver. When you pray for Him to give you the money to pay the school fees, He will open the ways. And you will pay the school fees that you want for your children. Maybe you have been searching. You have been searching maybe to an opportunity in maybe a given organization to work, but you have never got an opportunity, but you have been trusting the Almighty God. The Almighty God is going to reward you because you are a abider in Him, Jesus Christ. Let us abide in God and in Jesus by the fellowship that we always have. Fellowship is very important. We always have fellowships by the prayers that you always pray together. 
my brother, my sister, as I conclude, may the Lord Almighty help us through the, the trust that we have been having in him. We have never forsaken him. We have always been trusting him for our problems, for our situations at home. May the Almighty God bless us. May the Almighty God change us all, change our names. May the Almighty God do something special in us. My brother, my sister, as I conclude, may the Lord Almighty, because of your faith, even me, because of the trust that is a mover, may the Almighty God move your situation, may he change your situation. That situation is not too difficult for the Almighty God. He's going to make you bear fruit, that trust in him, that thing that you want, trust in him. May he change your name in Jesus' name for always being active in your faith. May your name never be called the way you are being called. Maybe in your village. May you go to another level in because of always completely relying on him. May the almighty God, because of your trust, may the almighty God bless you in Jesus' name. May the almighty God make your characters to be accepted before men in Jesus' name. May you be called a true son and daughter of the almighty God because of your faith. May the almighty God make you to be righteous before men and before women in of this world. Oh, may the Lord be with us. May the Lord God bless you. May the Lord change your level to another level. May the Lord God make you to be the heir, the inheritor of the promises that the Lord God has promised you. May the Lord God, maybe it is because of the land, may the Lord God give you that land that you have been longing for. Be it maybe the children, maybe you don't have children. May the Lord God do something in your life because you have been trusted in the name. May the Lord God move your situation to another level. May he remove any obstacle that always come on your way. When you go to another level, the Almighty, the devil wants you to be done. May the Lord God break all those forces of darkness that you always want you to be down. Because remember that you are fruitful before the Almighty God because of your faith. I pray that the Lord God may make us to be fruitful. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, may the Lord God make you to be fruitful in Jesus' name. May the Lord God give your neighbor a high five. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, take the high five of God's fruits because of your living faith in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Father, my Lord, you are to rise for us to decrease, O oh Lord. Father, I pray, O oh Lord, my God, that you will make us, O oh Lord, my God, to be fruitful. We have never, Lord, Father, go down, O oh Lord, Father, my Lord, to the gods of this world. But we always rely on you. No problems are there, but you make us to be strong. Lord, Father, may you reward us, O oh Lord. May you reward us, O oh Lord, Father, with your blessings, O oh Lord. Father, may change our names. Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, O oh Lord, my God. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. It's time for giving. Whatever you have, be it the tithe, the tithe, the art offering, that thanksgiving, may you be blessed as you want to give in Jesus' name. Let us all give. Mommy. 
mame ni pandemi li mayoti e bana u ni pandishe for those who have given may you be blessed those who are lacking may the lord almighty open your ways and never lack in Jesus name father we say thank you for the giving of your people lord father may increase them lord for those who are lacking oh lord my god may increase them lord father we thank you for this day we glorify your name father because of our faith in you father may you reward us greatly may we bear fruit we say thank you lord in Jesus name we pray and amen our may the grace of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ and the love, love of God, God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May you be blessed.